Welcome to the Pittsburgh Current Podcast, and welcome to the future. One person sitting alone in a room. That's the world that we live in at the moment with COVID-19, form of coronavirus. Uh, we were scheduled to have Jake Wheatley, uh, state representative uh, for the 19th District, Jake Wheatley, on the show today to talk about his new uh, legal uh, cannabis, uh, clean, clean, mar- clean slate cannabis bill. Um but um, we found out just a little bit ago that um, the representative is feeling under the weather. Um, and so given, you know, the heightened sense that we're all the heightened, uh, you know, environment we're all living in, um, we he and we all thought it best that uh, that we cancel today's show. But we wanted to come on and just uh, talk about that and, you know, make a few announcements Um I mean, I imagine I could probably talk by myself for 45 minutes, but you do never know. Um, we are following all of the latest um, coronavirus-related news and closures. You can follow along on our website. We have a live blog running, and we're going to keep updating that as things become available. Um, some of the things that we expect today is an announcement on the from the NHL on how they intend to proceed with their season Um, especially given the uh, decision last night by the NBA to suspend its season. Um, And I don't laugh because of the coronavirus, but, you know, it's one of those things that this is like this sort of shows like how like obviously this is serious. But usually, you know, um, there's always there are always people who say a big deal is being made about nothing and sometimes maybe not enough of a big deal is being made about something. Um, But um Oddly enough, it was a uh, Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. He was um, he was confirmed to have preliminary tested for coronavirus last night, right before the Jazz uh, Jazz's game. And um, just days earlier, he was basically making fun of the NBA's um, different uh, rules and restrictions for dealing with the media. And so he went up, and basically they they had the media separated from the players. And Rudy Gobert thought it was ridiculous, so he went up and started touching people's recorders and things like that. Anyway, a few days later, Rudy Gobert gets the coronavirus. So it really is like, it's uh, it's not something to, to, to screw around with, obviously. Um, so based on that, we wondered actually last night in our blog about the NHL. And the NHL released a statement last night that said, The National Hockey League is aware of the NBA's decision tonight to indefinitely suspend its season due to a player testing positive for the coronavirus. The NHL is continuing to consult with medical experts and is evaluating the options. We expect to have a further update tomorrow, which would be today. So we should hear something about how the NHL plans to proceed. And, of course, we've got the baseball season um, starting up. So it's 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 just a it's just a, it's 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 really a, a strange time. If, if uh, I was just told about this this morning, um, people, of course, yesterday was a big day for announcements in the city of Pittsburgh. Um among several things that were announced yesterday, um, the main sort of news and the thing that people responded to the most was the canceling of the St. Patrick's Day parade. Um, and it, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Just, you know, a bunch of folks gathering along a street corner, some who have imbibed probably a little too much alcohol and um, are, you know, people tend to get a, get a little too, uh, you know, close and when you're when you're partying like that and so it was absolutely the right call but um last night there were some people really sounding off about it on twitter and um mayor bill peduto apparently um to defend to defend the city's decision he was on there talking with folks and um you know trying to (laughs) to explain to them what happened and how serious this is and it's it's kind of a weird thing i think everybody Everybody has an idea of how serious this is, and but until it comes time to like suspend something that you love, when you can't do something that you've been looking forward to. So, you know, um, the announcement of the NBA last night probably 
you know, while it hit everybody as like, holy cow, this is like, this is a major organization. They're going to lose money and so forth. But they did this out of the safety. Um, and everyone last night might have said, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Now, what if the NHL comes out today and does the same things? I imagine uh, Penn's fans are going <laughs> to lose their goddamn minds. But, you know, it is, like I said, it is the, the state that we live in. Um, so PittsburghCurrent.com, stay up to date on everything that... Um, we learn about the coronavirus, um, and there are, of course, there are things being canceled all around the area. And again, the hope is that, you know, trying to contain uh, the virus so it doesn't spread as widely as it has in other places. Um, I mean, it shut down an entire country uh, in Italy. So, you know, um, well, Italy, not a country in Italy, but Italy. Um, so, you know, so that was, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's serious business. Um, but while you are quarantined or laying low, you can check out our new issue of the Pittsburgh Current. Um, it is our, on our cover are the women from Girls Running Shit podcast, and they are a big part of the Sunstar Festival 2020, which is uh, this year. Uh, it's the theme is celebrating um, uh, black women in music, and they've got some great events planned Um Including a a uh, a concert featuring just you know some of this city's great you know gr best artists performing today, Clara Kent, Inez, Brittany Chantel, and others. And so you really want to make sure that you uh, that you check that out. Cross the fingers, um, and that is going to be on March thirteenth and fourteenth. So. Uh, no, wait, I think I, ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to me at all because I believe uh, <laughs> I may have put a wrong date in there. Um, anyway, um, anyway, check out our coverage of the Sunstar Festival. Um, it is, it's it's going to be, I think it's really going to, it's going to be a great, uh, a great show and a great, um, a great festival. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, other than that, we have coverage on, Bethany Rue wrote a story about what if you, um, basically want to enjoy a fish fry, but you despise the Catholic Church and all that uh, it has done. Uh, we've got some alternatives there for you. Um, Ted Hoover reviews uh, the newest production from City Theater. And we have our comics. We, we, I do want to address that a little bit. Um, we have been, uh, we haven't had our comics in a couple of issues just because of space. Um, but our comics are back this week. And so check those out. Um, beyond that, keep up to date on the, uh, like I said, on the, well, all of the news that goes on, plus anything re coronavirus related, we're going to try and stay on top of it, especially as it pertains to the Pittsburgh area. So check that out, um, on pittsburghcurrent.com and, uh, wash your hands. Uh, try and avoid that's that's actually been one of the strangest things um i have a friend who lives in colorado and uh his daughters play soccer they're into club soccer and so forth and um he actually made the uh made the uh, uh the uh the he basically last night he talked about a rule that they passed which was um basically the kids can still play they can still run around and sweat all over each other and breathe in each other's faces but high fives have been outlawed so you know that actually brings up a very like you know, don't be don't be uh, don't be offended if someone doesn't want to shake your hand. Maybe uh, you know bump elbows or do a chest bump or butts. In the seventies, they used to bump butts together all the time, so that might be something you want to try. Um, you know, slap wallets together, whatever. Just you know something that's uh, safe and sanitary. And uh, like I said, wash the hands. Try to limit your exposure to touching doors, you know, do the whole sleeve deal. Um, I'm obviously not a medical doctor, but when you're sitting alone in a room, you got to fill a little time. But enough time has been filled, I think. We wanted to let you know about that. We hope that Representative Jake Wheatley feels better soon, and we are already talking to him about rescheduling this interview, so we're looking forward to that. And this has been the Pittsburgh Current Podcast, shortened coronavirus version. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.